What's up guys, Joey here, GSM Gaming, and today I'm playing a brand new, it's not really new, uh, another console game. This one is Hitman Absolution, and right now we are playing the first level, the King of Chinatown, on the purest difficulty, and we are going for the Silent Assassin rank rating. Rank rating. Um, when you start, <laughs> this mission involves a lot of waiting. So uh, I'm going to speed it up a lot. But uh, when you start, you're just going to want to come over here to the central area of Chinatown. And that guy right there in the suit is our target. We can kill him any way we want, however we want. Um, we're just going to wait in the crowd for a very long time. I'm speeding this up. This is six times faster than normal. If you wait in this crowd long enough, this guy in the uh, red pants and the white coat is going to walk over. And he's going to stand there. And we are going to wait <laughs> until our target comes back. Our target kind of walks around Chinatown. He does his rounds. Um, when he does come back, he's going to talk to the guy in white. And here we can see him arriving, talking to the guy in white. The guy in white is actually his drug dealer. If you're curious about what he's saying, you can just <laughs> slow it down and s read the uh, subtitles. Though I don't think that's necessary since you're probably playing the game yourself. We're going to wait until the drug dealer then walks off, and we are going to follow him. Uh, he's going to come down in this alley. Make sure you're not right behind him, <laughs> because he'll stop at the entrance to the alley and you'll look around. I don't think he'll detect you, but you kind of creepy to have a bald guy in your face. And also, make sure um, make sure you're, there's no weapons equipped, equipped, because to get this silent assassin rating, you can't kill anyone with but your target. So here you can see that we're subduing this guy. You don't want to break his neck. That is, that will kill him. <laughs> um, pretty much just want to kill him, take his outfit, and then shove his body in a dumpster. Like so. Now with uh, the drug dealer disguise, you can pretty much walk around Chinatown. You can go into the drug dealer's apartment, but most importantly, you can get the king to follow you also, in this middle pavilion over there, you saw I just picked up evidence. Um, that evidence will give you a score boost. It won't make the difference between a silent assassin, but picking it up can't hurt, especially since it's right there. But, um, you wait around until the king comes back. He'll see you. He'll ask you to take him to your apartment. The only way you can really screw it up now is if you lead him to the wrong spot. <laughs> um, also, make sure that he's actually following you, because apparently sometimes he gets lost. It never happened to me, but I've never walked that far ahead of him. Um, you want to lead him up to the drug dealer's apartment. My friend would ruin the video. Thank you very much. Uh, once he gets in your apartment, he's going to go sniff up that snow on the, on the desk right there, and while he's doing so, you can pull out your fiber wire. Make sure you kill him with the fiber wire, because you'll get a signature kill. That really does make the difference in the Silent Assassin rating. Always try to kill your targets with the fiber wire. And hide his body. And once you do that, it's just a matter of walking out of the map. And if you do all this, purest difficulty doesn't really make a difference. Piece of cake, you will get the Silent Assassin rating. As long as you don't start shooting civilians or anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Expect more of these videos. I'm planning on going through the whole game, so subscribe and keep in touch. Thanks for watching.